for the last 71 years, we've watched some of the greatest moments in sports history. There's Mikan. His quick set is off the rim, but George makes good in his second try, 85 to 81. Being guarded by Dennis Johnson. Byron Scott is in the ball game now. Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores with two. The look away to Lovingston. George. Today is the year 1991. Welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K21 re simulation, history re simulation. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded, so uh, you know I gotta I gotta get used to it. No, uh, no joke. This is the first time I've recorded a video in about two weeks. No, two weeks and over a month, like a month and two weeks. It's been a long time. Actually, the last time I recorded was um before my wedding which my wedding was june 19th and today is july 28th um that's how many videos i recorded before i got married and then unfortunately i wasn't able to post them as consistently as i thought i was so i do want to apologize to you guys for that um but anyways uh thank you guys for all the support on the channel haven't really gotten a chance to say anything to you guys in over a month so thank you guys for all the support uh thank you guys for you know uh all the congratulations for getting married all that stuff um and now i am back which i mean i've been back but i'm back uh we're, it's just it's just a weird thing because the video i posted just a couple of days ago that video was, I was like, I don't even remember any of this. So let me kind of, I, I've been doing a little bit of like at posting those videos kind of brought back all of what, what, what happened, but I really need to look at this league history because I really, I, it's, it's been, it's been a while for me. It's been a while. Michael Jordan, uh, won the last two MVPs. He's kind of really gotten it going here. Uh, as just, uh, well, we're in 91. So what year seven for him year six or seven for him so he's uh he's playing great magic johnson won three mvps before that bernard king got to how many did bernard king win one two three four five six seven he won seven so i believe that tied the record the record i believe belongs to bob pettit three four five six seven and george Mikan, who has one two three four five six seven so I believe those are the records for most MVPs. Um, but yeah, Michael Jordan has been getting going in the last couple of years. And then in the last episode, he did get his first NBA championship. Uh, but then Cleveland with David Robinson has won two straight. And if you guys never watched the uh, 2K20 version of this series, David Robinson was one of the greatest of all time in that series. Um, I don't remember exactly where we had put him, but he was definitely top 10, maybe even top five. He was unbelievable. And now he's basically doing the same thing uh, in this series, which is interesting. I wonder what the 2K does to David Robinson in this series that makes him just go crazy. Uh, but Michael Jordan does have one championship. He lost this past season in seven. Um, so, uh, he's, uh, we'll see. Well, we, I wouldn't say he's a disappointment because 
I mean, by this point in real life, he had just won his first championship, I believe. Um, so, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes for him. But David Robinson is definitely owning the league as of right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. We don't have any expansions or anything like that. Um, I updated, I think, maybe one logo. Uh, I don't remember exactly remember who that was, though. Uh, Miami is a newer team, though. Orlando's a newer team. Minnesota's a newer team. We don't have a team coming in until, what is that, 1995, uh, which would be Toronto and then Vancouver. Uh, as well, which obviously turns into the Memphis Grizzlies, and then 2002 would be New Orleans. So it, it's it's going to be uh, to the next episode where I believe we add an expansion team. But for now, we're good on expansion. So let's go ahead and move on. Also, the 1991 draft is coming up. Let's go ahead and look at make sure that yeah, it's in here. So Larry Johnson, Kenny Anderson, Dikembe Mutombo, Steve Smith, Terrell Brandon. Uh, Luke Longley, Stacey Ogman, Greg Anthony, Isaac Austin, Rick Fox. So, um, yeah, that's the Kevin Lynch. That's the upcoming draft. Not the greatest draft, but next season we get Shaq. So, that's exciting. Uh, player retirements. Paul Westfall retires. Jamal Wilkes, Bobby Jones, Phil Walton, Gus Williams also retires. And moving on to Hall of Fame inductees. We got Bill Walton, who makes it into the Hall of Fame, averaging 17 points per game, 14 and a half rebounds per game, three blocks per game. Bobby Jones, who averaged 13 and nine, and Paul Westfall, who averaged 21 and five per game. So those are your 20 or 20, 1991 Hall of Famers. So moving on to, let's see, league meetings. We don't need to do anything with league meetings, I don't believe, so we can reject all of those. And let's get into the draft lottery. Best player in this draft is probably Larry Johnson, so we'll see who will more than likely take Larry Johnson with the number one overall pick. And it is the Orlando Magic with the number one overall pick, the Minnesota Timberwolves with the number two overall pick. It's funny, Orlando getting the number one overall pick the year before Shaq. Maybe they'll get it again next year. You never know. Uh, Minnesota, though, would pick number two. Bucks with three, four with the Hawks. Uh, Celtics get five. Uh, Mavs get six, seven to the Clippers, eight to the Hornets, nine to the Sonics, and ten to the Ro Rockets. And uh, just speaking of the Bucks, I uh, just want to say congratulations to any Bucks fans out there who are watching this video. Again, it's been a month and a half since I've recorded anything. So then, NBA Finals happened. Uh, well, the second round finished, conference finals finished, finals finished. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was an outstanding NBA Finals. Giannis, in my opinion, has taken the crown uh, as far as best player in the world from LeBron. I would say top three right now, Giannis, LeBron, and KD. At least for me, it's that order. Um, but it's, it's, that was an awesome finals. Congratulations to any Milwaukee Bucks fans out there. And, um, I've, I have a feeling that, uh, Giannis will probably get a few more. Um, he's, he's pretty incredible. But anyways, let me know what your guys' thoughts on, on the finals were. Uh, congratulations to the Suns as well. Um, getting to the NBA finals. It sucks to lose, but I mean, Devin Booker's 24, DeAndre Ains 22, they, they'll uh, they'll be a very, very good team for a while. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the NBA draft where the Orlando Magic have the number one overall pick. By the way, if you guys want to listen to more of my real life NBA takes, NFL takes, any of that, I do have a podcast behind the glass description down below if you guys want to listen to that. You know, down, you know, in the description, you can find the YouTube channel and the podcast where you can go find it on Spotify or iTunes. Or iTunes does iTunes exist anymore? I don't know. Uh, Apple Podcasts. Uh, so if, if you guys want to check that out, that's down in the description. And, um, you know, you can go ahead and listen to uh, my buddy's uh, takes as well as mine. I'm right 99.9% .9 of the time. So, you know, uh, mainly just listen to me. But, uh, yeah, you guys can go ahead and check that out down below. So with the i just broke something uh no i don't want to pick um i okay here we go with the number one overall pick the orlando magic 
I don't want to pick. I think I broke something. So I'm just going to sim to end. So with the number one overall pick, the Orlando Magic, I'll fix that. Uh, take Larry Johnson with the number one overall pick. Uh, Steve Smith goes number two to Minnesota. Dikembe Mutombo goes number three to Milwaukee. At four, the Hawks take Terrell Brandon. At five, the Boston Celtics take Rick Fox. At six, Stacey Ogman goes to the Mavericks. At seven, Kenny Anderson goes to the Clippers. The Hornets take Kevin Lynch at eight. And Greg Anthony goes to the Supersonics at pick nine. And the Rockets take Luke Longley at pick number 10. Isaac Austin goes to the Bulls at 11. And that is it for the 1991 NBA Draft. On to the 1991 NBA Free Agency. And let's see if uh, we have a few moves here. I don't really remember where these guys were previously for the most part. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, go one by one here. Kevin McHale does sign with the Bullets. So he was originally with New Jersey. Wow, he was playing great. How did he not win an MVP? 33-15, um, 29.8 and 14. That's pretty impressive with the Bullets. Clyde Drexler leaves Houston. Did Clyde Drexler win a championship in Houston? No, they did not. I think they got there though, right? If I'm not mistaken. Um, let's go ahead and, I mean, I could look real quick. Uh, did Houston get to the NBA Finals? Um, I believe so, yeah. In 86, they did. Um, so, yeah, they he was there. Um, let's see. And then they lost uh, to the Nets. They lost to the Bullets, Magic and the Bullets, in 1988. And that's it. So they, he's, Clyde has made it to the NBA Finals twice, has lost both times. He joins Kevin McHale in Washington with the Bullets. David Robinson re-signs with the Cavs. I would hope so. After winning back-to-back -back Finals MVPs. Bernard, I, I believe, right? Did he win Finals MVP both years? Yeah, he did. Uh, Bernard King goes and leaves Cleveland, who he has won two championships with in a row. And he joins the New Jersey Nets. So he's back in New Jersey. Didn't like living in Cleveland. Wanted to go back to uh, New Jersey where he spent four years. So, uh, and he won a couple of championships. Maybe, maybe just one. Let's see. He is a four-time champ. So yeah, he won twice with New Jersey, twice with the Cavs. And now he's back in New Jersey. Interesting. Sidney Moncrief leaves Houston as well. Ooh, Houston just got destroyed. Um, uh, he goes to the Heat. Alex English joins the Nets. So the Nets get Bernard King and Alex English. English was in Denver the last couple of years. Bef uh, before that, he was in Dallas. Uh, David Thompson stays in Golden State. Len Bias is now going to New Jersey. He leaves New York after a, what, five-year career. Last season, I was 21, 10, and 4. Now he is in New Jersey. New Jersey put him together a decent team. Scotty Pippen stays in Detroit. Uh, Maurice Cheeks going to Milwaukee. Sydney Green going to Atlanta. Reggie Miller staying in Denver. Uh, Kevin Willis uh, staying in Philly. Jeff Malone staying in Philly as well. And I mean, we'll just kind of Horace Grant staying in Portland and Charles Barkley. Uh, who's now leaving Atlanta, going to Milwaukee. Um, let's see, any other bigger names on here? No, I don't, I don't really see any super big names. So there you go. Uh, if you guys want to slow it down, check it out. Those are the free agency moves. And uh, let's get on to the next season. The 1991-1992 NBA season is over. And the defending, the two-time defending finals MVP is David Robinson and he wins regular season MVP the very next year averaging 32 points 19 and a half rebounds four assists two steals and 3.7 blocks per game he might win DPOI too 55% from the field 76% from the free throw line and 32.5% from the three Larry Johnson wins rookie of the year with the Orlando Magic uh, averaging 20 and nine and four assists Glenn Rice wins Sixth Man of the Year, averaging 19, 5, and 3. David Robinson wins Defensive Player of the Year. And 
Uh, Abdul Rauf wins most improved, averaging 32 and 7. And uh, let's go on to the All NBA teams. All NBA first team, we got Terry Porter, Isaiah Thomas, Carl Malone, Kevin McHale, and David Robinson. All NBA second team, we got Clyde Drexler, Magic Johnson, Bernard King, Dominic Wilkins, and Akeem Olajuwon. And on the All NBA third team, we got Abdul Rauf, Fat Lever, Clark Kellogg, Larry Bird, and Moses Malone. So no Michael Jordan on any of the All NBA teams. He's on the All Defensive First Team though. Average 26, 6, and 5. 2.7 steals, 1.8 blocks. Still phenomenal. Shooting 53% from the field, 38% from the three, and 94% from the free throw line. Got Magic and Kevin McHale, Dominique and David Robinson on the All Defensive First Team. On the All Defensive Second Team, we got Sidney Moncrief, Fat Lever, Scotty Pippen, Bernard King, and Akeem. Elijah one. So on to the NBA playoffs here. The LA Lakers are once again the number one seed. They go up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have Abdul Rauf, uh, Hawkins, McRae, Cliff Livingston, and Vlade Divac. Uh, the Lakers with Brad Davis, Byron Scott, Michael Jordan, Clark Kellogg, and Moses and Malone. For the 4-5, we got Denver versus San Antonio. Johnny Moore, Reggie Miller, Dominique, uh, Xavier McDaniel, and Trey Rollins. For the Spurs, Tim Hardaway, Reggie Lewis, Larry Bird, George Johnson, and Eldon Campbell. With the 3-6, we got Golden State and Portland. For Golden State, they got John Stockton, Jim Paxson, David Thompson, Hot Rod Williams, Ralph Sampson, and Arvidas Sabonis. And for the Portland Trailblazers, Larry Drew, Kendall Gill, James Worthy, Horace Grant, and Rick Smith. Glenn Rice coming off the bench. For the 2-7, Utah was the 2 seed. Sacramento, the 7 seed. Ron Harper, Chris Mullen, Mark Aguirre, Sam Perkins, and Mark Eaton. For the Utah Jazz, the Kings with Terry Porter, Alvin Robinson, Ricky Pierce, Anton Walker, and Herb Williams with Dennis Rodman coming off the bench, averaging 13 rebounds per game. In the East, the Washington Bullets are the number one seed. Magic Johnson, Clyde Drexler, Kevin McHale, Johnny Newman, and Jerome Kersey, Spud Webb coming off the bench. That's a really good team. Clyde Drexler and Kevin McHale as the two free agents to come join Magic Johnson. Magic averaged 24, seven and eight. Uh, for the 8C Charlotte Hornets, we got Gary Payton, Kevin Lynch, Sean Elliott, Danny Manning, and Al Alton Lister. For the 4-5, we got Battle of New York, New Jersey versus New York. We got Bernard King, Paul Pressey, Alex English, Len Bias, Bill Lambeer, and Tom Hammonds. Uh, all essentially new players here. Bernard King coming from Cleveland, obviously was with New Jersey a few years ago. Uh, Paul Presti has been in New Jersey for the last three years. Alex English coming from Denver. Len Bias coming from New York. And Bill Lambeer uh, has been in New Jersey. Len Bias playing against his former team, though, the New York Knicks. The Knicks with Doc Rivers, World Be Free, Charles Davis, Carl Malone, and Hakeem Olajuwon. Uh, Olajuwon averaging 31 and 17 per game. The Nets are the slightly better seed. You have Philly and Cleveland as 3-6. Uh, with Philly, we got Scott Skiles, Jeff Malone, Purvis Short, Kevin Willis, and Patrick Ewing. And for the Cleveland Cavaliers, the two-time defending champions, Sleepy Floyd, Mark Price, Adrian Dantley, Paul McKeskey, and David Robinson. They're the sixth seed. I don't think they're going to be back in the NBA Finals. At least, uh, I mean, you never know, but I don't think so. The Miami Heat are the number two seed against the Detroit Pistons. Raj Strickland, Sidney Moncrief, Kiki Vandeweghe, Terry Cummins, Clement Johnson, and Kenny Smith coming off the bench. And with Detroit, they got Derek Harper, Joe Dumars, Scotty Pippen, Brukowski, and Brad Daughtry. I, for the East, I, it's Washington, I think, is the best team. It'll be interesting in the West. I still think the Lakers are slightly better than any other team in the West, but... I, I don't know. I, it could be the Lakers and the Bullets. The Lakers trying to get to their, what, third NBA Finals in four years. And I believe, actually, Washington hasn't been to the Finals in a few years. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, round number one. The uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, the defending champions. David Robinson, the MVP, gets eliminated in round number one. Minnesota gets eliminated in round number one as well. New Jersey gets eliminated by New York. So Len Bias 
falls short against his former team in, the, in round number one. Portland is eliminated. Denver is eliminated. And Detroit is gone. Charlotte is gone. Sacramento is gone as well. So we got the Lakers versus the Spurs. Uh, so Larry Bird versus Michael Jordan. Uh, we got Utah versus Golden State. Uh, John Stockton and David Thompson. Go you know, Golden State has a really good team. They have a really good team. They have a shot to beat the Lakers. Uh, Washington versus New York. I mean, New York's good. Carl Malone, Akeem Olajuwon. I don't know if they have the guard play, though. I think Washington wins that one. Miami versus Philly. I think Miami wins this one uh, pretty easily, to be honest. But here we go. Round number two. The Utah Jazz get swept by the Golden State Warriors. The Philadelphia 76ers lose in five to Miami. The New York Knicks lose in six to the Washington Bullets. Will the Spurs blow a 3-1 lead to Michael Jordan? They do. So, the LA Lakers and the Golden State Warriors, like I said, this is, this is a good team. This is a really good Golden State team. We'll see if they can knock off the LA Lakers. Uh, and Washington versus Miami. I do think Washington's a better team here, but Miami's pretty solid. Pretty solid. So here we go. Round or well, Eastern or Conference Finals, game number one. Miami wins game number one. Game number one for the West. LA wins game one there. Game number two, Miami goes up 2-0 over the one-seeded Washington Bullets. The Lakers go up 2-0 over Golden State. Game three, the Lakers take a 3-0 lead. Miami takes a 3-0 lead. Game number four, the Washington Bullets get eliminated. They haven't been to the NBA Finals since 1988. So it's been four years since they've been to the NBA Finals. Um, and for the Miami Heat, this is their first Finals appearance. Uh, just what, how long have they been in the league? Four years, not even, three years, and the Miami Heat are in the NBA Finals, and the LA Lakers, Michael Jordan, sweeps a pretty good Golden State team. So we got the Battle of the Coast here. Lakers, Heat, Miami, LA. This is, this is pretty cool. We got Michael Jordan and the LA Lakers versus Sidney Moncrief. And the Miami Heat. I mean, look at this lineup. We got Raj Strickland versus Brad Davis. Sidney Moncrief versus Byron Scott. Kiki Vanaway versus MJ. Clark Kellogg and Terry Cummings. And Clement Johnson versus Moses Malone. I think the LA Lakers are the better team here. The Lakers have now made it to the NBA Finals uh, three times in the last four years. They're a one and one. Jordan and the Lakers ended up beating the Cavs uh, in 89 and then the Cavs beat them last year uh, in seven man if they could have won that one they'd be going for three and four years but anyways here we go Michael Jordan in his third finals appearance let's jump in to the simcast here game one can the magical run for the Miami Heat continue here in the NBA finals it's not looking like it in a game number one as the Lakers win at 128 to 112 Michael Jordan puts up 38, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, 5 steals, 2 blocks. Malone, 28 and 17. Byron Scott, 23 and 8. Davis with 19 and 8. Clark Kellogg with 10, 11 and 7 for the Heat. Moncrief with 28, 4 and 9. Strickland with 25, 5 and 8. Cummings with 22 points was not enough. So game number 2 once again in LA. And at the half, the Lakers up by 10 into the fourth quarter, up by 8. And, oh, okay, we got a closer game here, a one-point game. Let's take it down to about a minute here, a minute 21, all tied up at 127. Jordan with 30 and 8, Malone with 31 and 10. Uh, no one's fouled out yet, thank God. Uh, Strickland with 31 as well. So let's jump in, see what happens. Game tied at 120. Seven. Kenny Smith at the free throw line hits that one. And the Heat have taken a one point lead, 128 127. Davis handling the ball. I don't see Michael Jordan in the game. Look at Davis. Okay. A big body.
bucket there, a minute and 13. MJ looking to check in. Kenny Smith now handling the ball. Oh, is that Charles Barkley? Is Charles Barkley in Miami? Coming off the bench? I totally forgot about that. No, that's that's Cummings. Never mind. Never mind. Terry Cummings looked like Charles Barkley for a moment. Had the number, everything. Sidney Moncrief puts it up and in. A big shot there. Moncrief gives the Miami Heat a one-point lead. I forget where Barkley went. So now... Miami with the one point lead. Davis, again, same move. Drives right, layup is good, and the Lakers once again have a one point lead. Back and forth game, Kenny Smith brings it up. Smith drives left on Brad Davis, kicks it out to Griffith. Griffith will have it at the top of the key. And looks like they're trying to get it to Moncrief. They do. Moncrief fakes the three. Now at the mid range. Pulls up from two, no good. From two, from the left side mid-range shot, and that was no good. And now the Heat will have to foul the LA Lakers. It's a one-point lead for the Lakers. Free throw number one is up and good for Vincent. And Vincent makes both. So it's a three-point game for the LA Lakers. They have the lead. Michael Jordan is set to come in. Missed a whole minute there because it was just back and forth. But hey, they didn't really need him. That's the Lakers with a three-point lead. LA trying to win three. Well, trying to win their second in four years. Moses Malone is your player of the game with 31 points on 12 of 19 shooting. And here we go. It's just a three-point game. Miami has a shot here. Johnson kicks it in to Kiki Vandaway. Vandaway to the corner to Kenny Smith. Smith kicks it back out. Vandaway, tough three. That's no good. Johnson with the offensive rebound. Kenny Smith has it. Back to Vandaway for another tough three. No good. Below with the rebound. And that will do it. The LA Lakers win game number two to take a 2-0 series lead here in the 19. 92 NBA Finals, they win at 133 to 130. On to a game number three, now in Miami, and the Lakers have taken a massive lead here in the first half. 70 to 45 at the half. Into the fourth quarter, they lead by 23. And with a minute to go, yeah, they're up big. They're going to win at 133 to 102. Michael Jordan with 33 points, eight rebounds, seven assists, four steals, three blocks. Malone with 29 and 8. Kellogg with 23, 21 and 8. Byron Scott with 20 and 11. Davis with 12 and 13. I mean, look at Clark Kellogg. My goodness. That's a massive game. 23, 21 and 8 and 4 steals. So the LA Lakers have taken a 3 0 lead. And now on to a game at number 4 in Miami. Will Miami get swept here or will they extend the series? Looks like they will extend it. 125 to 96, they win it. Jordan with just 25, 9, and 4. Ke Kellogg with 29 and 11. For Miami, Cummings with 29 and 13. 24 for Kenny Smith. 21 for Strickland. 20 and 15 for Sidney Moncrief. And now on to game number five. Back in LA, Miami with an early lead. And they still have it going to the fourth quarter. 76 to 67 in a low scoring game. And now with a minute 18, the LA Lakers have come back to tie it. 104-104, Jordan with 29-4-7, and seven. Scott with 25-5, and five. Moncrief with 26-6-4. and six and four. Let's jump in with a minute and 18 to go. Here we go, game tied at 104, Miami with the ball. And Kenny Smith is handling on the right side. Drops it down to Cummins in the post. Cummings backing down, puts up a hook shot. That is good, and the Heat have taken a two-point lead. Miami just won a game number four after being down 3-0. Now trying to win game five. If you can win game five, you're back home for game number six. You should be able to win that one, and you can force game seven. Anything can happen in game seven. But Byron Scott with the layup on the right side. He now has 27, and it's a... Uh, tie game once again at 106. Kenny Smith will bring it up. Malone still waiting to check in.
Smith being guarded by Davis into the post of Cummings once again. That shot's no good, and Kellogg with the rebound. So now Jordan has it. 34 seconds to go. Jordan drives right on Cummings. Up and no good, but gets fouled. That will be Cummings' fifth foul, sixth team foul. And Michael Jordan now at the free throw line. And the first is up and in. Crowd chanting MVP. Second one is up and in. So we got a 108-106 lead for the LA Lakers. 30 seconds to go and Miami will call timeout. With 27 seconds to go. Michael Jordan has been just unbelievable in this playoff run. I mean, they were the number one seed great player trying to win his second NBA Finals and probably second Finals MVP if the Lakers do end up winning it. Moses Malone checks back in the game. Clark Kellogg is your player of the game with 15 points. Don't know how many rebounds he has. And here we go. Miami down by two. 27 seconds to go. A seven second difference between shot clock and a game clock. Ball into Cummings. Guarded by Kellogg. Trying to post up, little short jumper, that's no good. Jordan with the rebound, he gets fouled. And with 15.8 seconds to go, Jordan is now at the free throw line. And the first is good, that makes it a three point game. A free throw here, a made free throw here. And that should do it for the NBA Finals. And he hits it, 110, 110, 110 to 106. 15 seconds to go, Smith to Moncrief for three. That's no good, Malone with the rebound. Oh, he gets it stolen. Moncrief kicks it out to Smith. Smith for three, that's no good. Malone with the rebound, gets it to Davis. That will do it. The LA Lakers are NBA champions for the second time in four years. Michael Jordan and Moses Malone wins their second in four years after losing last year to the Cleveland Cavaliers in seven. And the LA Lakers and Michael Jordan are NBA champions. What a run for the Miami Heat. A brand new team just three years ago. In their, what, third season makes it to the NBA Finals. But unfortunately, they ran into a great, great team and a great, great player. Michael Jordan wins a finals MVP as well as they celebrate. And there you go. The LA Lakers are the 1992 NBA champions. Michael Jordan is your finals MVP. Now has two championships at the age of 28. A 99 overall, obviously. 32 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, and 6.2 assists per game. Also had three steals and nearly two blocks per game as well. Shooting 55% from the field and 53% from three. So Michael Jordan at the age of 28, doing pretty good. Obviously not, you know, what he did in real life, but way better already than what he did in the 2K20 version. So with that, I'm already happy. Um, but Michael Jordan, your finals MVP winner and now on to the offseason player retirements here david thompson retires with the warriors a 17 year career philly to seattle to golden state jack sigma michael ray richardson michael cooper michael thompson dave corzine clint richardson all retire on to hall of famers here two uh hall of famers here in 1992 David Thompson averaged 26 points per game, eight rebounds and four assists. Jack Sigma, 22 and 15 per game as well throughout his career. And those are your 1992 NBA uh, Hall of Famers. Now we are on to the 1992 NBA draft lottery. Now, this is a big one here. Shaquille O'Neal is about to enter the NBA. And so looking at the odds here, the Rockets have the best odds of landing Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, remember, they lost a lot of players in free agency, so they were definitely the worst team in the league. Dallas is the uh, with the second best odds at number two. Uh, Orlando Magic at three, who in real life ended up winning the lottery and uh, drafting Sha uh, Shaq. I don't remember where Shaq went 
in the 2K20 version. I honestly can't remember. Let me know in the comments below if you guys remember. Uh, Chicago at four, Clippers at five. So here we go. Who will win the 1992 draft lottery? And it is the Houston Rockets. After losing all those players, Houston is about to land Shaq. Wow. The Clippers move up to number two. Magic take three. Bulls take four. Sonics take five. Mavs take six. Bucks take seven. Hawks with the eighth. Celtics with the ninth. And the Phoenix Suns with pick number 10. On to the 1992 NBA draft. And with the number one overall pick, the Houston Rockets. I really hope I have the right draft class on here. Is Jim Jackson from the 1992 draft class? Did I select the wrong draft class? NBA draft 1990. I just, I just, I, I need to. Yeah, yeah, he was the fourth pick by um, the Dallas Mavericks, actually. Okay. Okay. All right, the Houston Rockets with the number one overall pick. It's like Jim Jackson. Huh. With the number two overall pick, the LA Clippers get Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. wow. Wow, did the Clippers get lucky or what? Shaq goes number two with the third overall pick. Alonzo Mourning is drafted by the Orlando Magic. With the fourth overall pick, the Chicago Bulls take Christian Leitner. Okay. Okay, that's uh, kind of funny. Uh, with the uh, fifth overall pick, the uh, Supersonics take Latrell Sprewell. With the uh, sixth overall pick, the Dallas Mavericks take LaFonso Ellis. With the seventh overall pick, the Milwaukee Bucks take Robert Horry. With the eighth overall pick, the Atlanta Hawks take P.J. Brown. With the ninth overall pick, the Boston Celtics take Tom Guliota. Again, I, I, I've said this in every video. If I, I apologize if I say pronounce the name wrong. I know I pronounce that name wrong. Uh, at pick number 10, the Phoenix Suns take Adam Keefe. At pick 11, Brian Stith goes to the Indiana Pacers. At 12, Doug Christie goes to the Charlotte Hornets. At 13, Hubert Davis goes to the Minnesota Timberwolves. John Barry goes to the Sacramento Kings. Um, and the Portland Trailblazers do not, well, they take a no-name guy. So anyways, there is your 1992 NBA draft. Shaq goes to the Clippers. Wow, he goes to LA. Wait, there you go. On a two NBA free agency here. And oh, we got, we, we got some moves. Okay. So, at the 1992 NBA free agency, Akeem Olajuwon stays with the New York Knicks. Actually, that's kind of surprising. He stayed with the Knicks. Interesting. Carl Malone, though, leaves New York and goes to Houston and joins Jim. Could you imagine if Houston would have just took Shaq? They could have Carl Malone and Shaq. Look, I don't know how great of a player Jim Jackson was. Honestly, I'm going to be honest here. Never heard of him. So, look, he could be, end up being a good player. But they, they could have had the one of the greatest big men in, in the NBA of, of all time. And Carl Malone, one of the greatest power forwards. But, you know, they, they screw that one up. Um, but, hey, they, they got Carl Malone. So, good for them. Uh, Dominique. Leaves Denver and goes to Minnesota. John Stockton leaving Golden State and going to Minnesota. So Dominic and John Stockton meeting up there with the Timberwolves. Patrick Ewing go, uh, goes ahead and stays in uh, Philly. Chris Mullen gets their center. No, I'm just kidding. Small forward. Uh, who averaged 26, 4, and 4. 96. Oh, wow, Chris Mullen, 96 overall. He joins the Rockets. Mark Aguirre goes to Minnesota. Uh, Ralph Sampson. Goes to New York, leaving Golden State. Moses Malone is staying with the LA Lakers. No surprise there. Otis Thorpe going and uh, going to Charlotte, leaving Houston. The Cavs 
Keep Adrian Dantley. Byron Scott goes to the Clippers. So it goes from the Lakers to the Clippers. And he will play with Shaq. Um, Strickland stays in Miami. And let's see, any other big moves here? Danny Manning staying in Charlotte. Marquise Johnson, he's actually going to the Magic. Magic getting a couple of guys there. Um, so yeah, there you go. There is the rest of free agency. We'll see what happens. I'm very curious to see what happens this year. Very. The 1992-1993 NBA season is over. And Carl Malone wins MVP, leaving New York, going to Houston, and putting up big numbers. 32, 13, and 5 per game. Carl Malone wins the most valuable award. Uh, Shaq, no, no surprise here, wins Rookie of the Year. Houston could have had MVP and Rookie of the Year in the same year that that blows my mind uh 21 points per game 8.8 .8 rebounds per game for Shaq. nearly three blocks per game as well great free throw percentage uh glenn rice is your sixth man of the year 20 points per game david robinson back-to-back -back defensive play of the year uh 29 point 30 points per game 19 rebounds five assists uh still in half and three and a half blocks per game vernon maxwell is your most improved player 18 points per game and six assists dave cowens is the coach of the year so all nba first team we got clyde uh with washington averaging 32 7 and 7 michael jordan averaging 31 6 and four and a half carl malone your mvp kevin McHale, 24 and 16 and david robinson and on the All-NBA second team, we got Magic, Fat Lever, Bernard King, Clark Kellogg, and Akeem Olajuwon. All-NBA third team, Terry Porter, John Stockton, Chris Mullen, Scottie Pippen, and Patrick Ewing. All-Defensive first team, we got Michael, Magic, Kevin McHale, Scottie Pippen, and David Robinson. All-Defensive second team, we got Clyde, Fat Lever, Bernard King, Dominique, and Akeem Olajuwon. So on to the 1993 NBA playoffs. Wow, look at this. The Minnesota Timberwolves are the number one seed. John Stockton, Mark Aguirre, Dominique, Cliff Levinson, and Vladi Divac. Interesting. Uh, they play Seattle with Reggie Thies, uh, Chapuka, Cabellos, Sean Kemp. Hey, look, Sean Kemp is in Seattle. Forgot about that. Uh, and then we have Portland versus San Antonio. The Lakers versus the Kings. The Lakers just the uh, three seed. They don't have a two guard. Uh, Houston versus uh, phoenix houston went from the worst team in the league to the number two seed in the west rookie jim jackson the number one overall pick put up 14 four and four yeah not bad not bad they probably didn't take shaq because they had bill cartwright but bill cartwright's 35 I, I i i don't understand new jersey with the number one seed in the east uh len bias 24 9 and 4 uh they play the heat who uh, were in the NBA Finals just a year ago, but they're the eighth seed this year. We have Charlotte versus Washington. as the 4-5. New York versus Cleveland. And then we got Philly versus Detroit. Detroit with Derek Harper, Joe Dumas, Scottie Pippen. Okay, not, not bad, not bad. Here we go. Round number one. The Bullets, Sonics, Pistons, New Jersey Nets, Cleveland Cavaliers, Sacramento Kings, and Portland Trailblazers and the Phoenix Suns are all eliminated. So we got, wow, the Nets were eliminated by the Heat. The Heat, I mean, they were in the NBA Finals a year ago, pretty much brought back the same team. So not a huge surprise that they won, that, that they got past the first round, but the Nets, they're a good team. Really good team. Bernard King, Alex Ing they had three guys put up 30. Oh my God, in game four, that's ridiculous. And they still lost. So we got Charlotte versus Miami. Washington lost too. Charlotte versus Miami will be an interesting uh, series. Philly versus New York. Man, who's the best team in the East? Is this still Miami as an eight seed? I don't know. I really, I, I feel like the East is kind of weak right now. Uh, we got Minnesota. Not, not a bad team. Uh, obviously the number one seed versus Larry Bird and Tim Hardaway, the San Antonio Spurs. We got Houston versus LA. Houston, the number two seed. 
with Carl Malone and Jim Jackson versus the Lakers with Michael Jordan and uh, Moses Malone. Clark Kellogg. So here we go. Round number two. The uh, Philadelphia 76ers, San Antonio Spurs, Miami Heat, Houston Rockets are eliminated. So the Minnesota Timberwolves beat the Spurs in five. The Lakers beat Houston in six, beat the MVP. Uh, the Knicks end up beating Philly. And Charlotte beats Miami in five. I I, I, I guess the best team in the in the East is, is New York. I mean, you got Hakeem Olajuwon, Ralph Sampson. Doc Rivers will be free. Not bad. The Hornets with Gary Payton. Otis Thor. I mean, meh. Eh, I, I think it's it's New York. The West is interesting, though. Because we got Minnesota, who is the number one seed. A good team. Very deep. Steve Smith. Rodney McRae. Bill Wennington. Purdue. Really good team. Uh, Dominique is a 99 overall. Stockton's a 97. And Mark Aguirre. But then on the other side, you got the Lakers, who have Michael Jordan, Moses Malone. They're not very deep at all, Clark Kellogg. But their top end is really, really good. I feel like Minnesota wins that series. We'll see. I think it's Minnesota and New, and New York. Here we go. Game number one goes to Charlotte and Minnesota. Game number two goes to Charlotte in Minnesota. We got 2-0 leads for both. Game number three, Minnesota takes a 3-0 lead over the defending champions. Charlotte takes a 3-0 lead over the New York Knicks. And we got a sweep in the East, a sweep in the West. And in the NBA Finals, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Charlotte Hornets. Now that's a weird Finals, but for back-to-back -back years, we had the 1989 expansion teams, Charlotte and Miami. Interesting. That's that's kind of cool. That's that's actually very cool. Uh, so the Knicks get swept, the Lakers get swept, Minnesota versus Charlotte. Yeah, Norm Nixon, Gary Payton, Sean Elliott, Otis Thorpe, and Al Alton Lister. Then we got John Stockton, Mark Aguirre, Dominique, Cliff Levinson, and Vladi Divac. That Minnesota team is really, really good. So here we go. Game number one in Minnesota. And this is uh, a, a little bit of a... Oh, well, I accidentally submitted the whole game. Uh, a little bit of a blowout. 115 to 97, 18-point win. Uh, Aguirre with 31 and 9. Dominic with 24 and 7. John Stockton with 19 and 16. Gary Payton with 20 and 17. Game number two. Once again, in Minnesota, Charlotte off to a hot start, but Minnesota takes the lead back into the fourth quarter. It's a nine-point lead for Minnesota, and they are going to win this one to go up 2-0, 108 to a 92. Dominic with 34 and 10. Abdul Ralph with 21. Stockton with 13 and 9. Manning with 20 and 9. So on to a game number three in Charlotte. Minnesota off to a quick lead. Into the fourth quarter, they have a 14 point lead. And I, why do I keep on simulating past it? 114 to 105 is game at three. Gary Payton dropped 43 in the loss. Mark Aguirre put up 38 and seven. Dominique 25, seven and six. Stockton with 21 and seven. And Minnesota takes a 3 0 lead over the Charlotte Hornets. And now on to a game at number four. Into the fourth quarter, Charlotte up 98 91. And with three minutes to go, it's 116 to 109, 118 to 112. Let's see if they make this any closer for Minnesota. They will not. And Charlotte wins this one, 124 to 119. Dominique with 34 and 7. Gary Payton with 24 and 13. Elliot with 23. Thorpe with 22 and 13 to avoid the sweep. So on to game number five. In Minnesota, Charlotte trying to stay alive. Into the fourth quarter, Charlotte with a 10-point lead. One and a half to go. And it looks like Charlotte's going to win this thing. Wow, Charlotte wins game five. They were down 3-0. They've won two in a row. And Charlotte wins it 106-90. Aguirre with 22 and 11. Payton with 37, 6 and 5. Gary Payton has been phenomenal in this series. And Minnesota still with a 3 to lead 
So game number six in Charlotte. This is a big game for Charlotte. They should be able to win at home, but it's not looking great. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not looking good. The Minnesota Timberwolves are NBA champions for the first time in team history. They came into the league in 1989. Charlotte came into the league in 1988. How about that? Miami Heat were in the NBA Finals last year. All the new teams that came in in the late 80s are uh, making it in the NBA Finals the last couple of years. And this one was a battle of them. And the Minnesota Timberwolves are NBA champions. Finals MVP will go to Dominique Wilkins at 31 years old. 27 points per game, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. The move to come to Minnesota was the right move for Dominique. And he's an NBA champion. The Timberwolves win the 1993 NBA Finals. On to a player retirements here in 93. Adrian Dantley retires with Cleveland. 27, 5, and 4 was his allow. That was a really good final year. And he retires at the age of 38. Alex English retires. Uh, Dennis Johnson, Norm Nixon, Brad Davis with the Lakers. Trey Rollins, Clement Johnson, James Donaldson, Herb Williams. They all retire. And as far as Hall of Famers, there's two of them. Adrian Dantley averaged 31, 6, and 4 over the course of his career. Alex English averaging 23, 8, and 6 over the course of his career. One and a half steals and a block per game as well. So those are your 1993 NBA Hall of Famers. On to the 1993 NBA Draft Lottery. I forgot to look at the odds here, but the order will be the Bucks, Celtics, Magic, Warriors, Jazz, Nuggets, Hawks, Mavericks, Clippers, Pacers. Um, there's your top 10. So... The Bucks winning the number one overall pick. The Celtics with number two. On to the 1993 NBA draft. And with the number one overall pick, the Milwaukee Bucks take a penny. Hardaway at number one. At number two, the Orlando Magic take Chris Webber. At number three, the Orlando Magic take Jamal Mashburn. At number four, the Golden State Warriors take Nick Van Exel. At number five, the Utah Jazz take Vin Baker. At number six, the Denver Nuggets take Rodney Rogers. At number seven, the Atlanta Hawks take Allen Houston. At number eight, the Dallas Mavericks take George Lynch. At number nine, the Los Angeles Clippers take Lindsey Hunter. At number 10, the Indiana Pacers take Sam Cassell. At number 11, the Chicago Bulls take Sean Bradley. And at number 12, Isaiah Ryder goes to the Seattle Supersonics. George... Mersion, I'm guessing, uh, out of Romania, seven foot seven, goes to the Miami Heat, and Corey Blount goes to the Detroit Pistons. Byron, Brian Russell goes to the Phoenix Suns at 15. Irvin Johnson goes to the Sacramento Kings at number 16. And that will do it for the 1993 NBA draft as the number one overall pick, Penny Hardaway, goes to Milwaukee. On to the 1993 NBA free agency, James Worthy. Uh, he leaves Portland and joins the Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, well, there's a, a big move there, the 31-year-old going to Cleveland. Michael Jordan obviously staying with the LA Lakers. Isaiah Thomas uh, staying in Dallas. Fat Lever staying in Chicago. Bernard King uh, is going to the Cavs. Wait, what is Bernard King doing? He's going from New Jersey to Cleveland to back to New Jersey, back to Cleveland. Okay, interesting. Uh, Larry, Larry Bird is with the LA Lakers? Oh my, uh, look, to be fair, Larry Bird hasn't had a crazy career. Um, obviously not as good as his one in real life. He's 35 years old. He's never won an NBA championship. He's a four-time All-Star. Oh, he's really not that good. Like, he's good, but really not that good. Um, so Larry Bird joining the LA Lakers. Interesting. Clark Kellogg stays with the Lakers. 
Ron Harper. Uh, he is uh, going to the New Jersey Nets. Xavier McDaniel leaves Denver to uh, Miami. Cummins uh, goes from Miami to Minnesota. Sleepy Floyd going uh, insane in Cleveland. Terry Porter staying in Sacramento. Dennis Rodman going to the LA Lakers. Wow. The Lakers are going a little crazy here. Dennis Rodman joining Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. Uh, and here's the rest of free agency. Some crazy, crazy moves. That's exciting. I'm excited to see what happens this season. The Lakers, who needed to sign a lot of guys, definitely did. The 1993-1994 NBA season is now over, and Karl Malone wins back-to-back -back MVPs, averaging 39-17-6 and six for the Houston Rockets. Chris Webber wins Rookie of the Year, averaging 22-8, and eight, along with four assists per game. Del Curry is your sixth man of the year, 25 points per game, three rebounds, three assists. Defensive player of the year is Akeem Olajuwon, 32-16, two steals, and three and a half blocks per game. Deep Brown is your most improved player. And Jim Knight is the coach of the year. All NBA first team, we got Clyde Drexler, Kevin Johnson, Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, Akeem Olajuwon. All NBA second team, we got Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, Kevin McHale, Len Bias, and David Robinson. All NBA third team, we got Tim Hardaway, John Stockton, Bernard King, Scottie Pippen, and Ralph Sampson. So no Michael Jordan, um, but they did add a lot of guys. So I'm guessing his numbers went down. All defensive first team, Michael Jordan, uh, 27, 6, and 5, 3 steals and 1.5 blocks per game. Shot 52, 37, and 94. So yeah, his numbers went down a little bit. Clyde Drexler and Kevin McHale, uh, Scotty Pippen, Akeem Olajuwon round out the all-defensive first team. All-defensive second team, we got Magic, Fat Lever, Carl Malone, Dominique, and David Robinson. So on to the 1994 NBA playoffs. The Houston Texans are the number one seed. The, did I just say Houston Texans? The Houston Rockets are the number one seed. They were in the finals just not too long ago. Um, right? They were in the uh, finals in 1988, 1988. So, uh, okay, it's, it's been, it's been like six years, but they're the number one seed. Sam Vincent, Jim Jackson, their, uh, number one overall pick a year ago. Uh, Chris Mullen, Carl Malone, Bill Cartwright, Burkowski, Craig Hodges. They have a decent team, decent team. Uh, it would have been better if they had Shaq. They play the uh, Portland Trailblazers, who are the eighth seed. Uh, at 4-5, we got the LA Clippers. Speaking of Shaq, the LA Clippers. Kenny Anderson, uh, Byron Scott, Tony Kukoc, Cliff Levinston, and Shaq, who's a 91 overall. And in year number two, just averaged 25 and 11, three blocks per game. Good Lord. Um, he's, yeah, the, the, he's very good. Very good. Uh, they are playing Dallas with Isaiah Thomas. Minnesota, your defending champions are the third seed with John Stockton, Mark Aguirre, Dominique, Terry Cummins, and Will Purdue. They play the Spurs with Tim Hardaway. Um, and then the LA Lakers go from three to two. They don't have a point guard, so I see why they went from three to two. Um, but yeah, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, average 26, five and five, Clark Kellogg, 22 and 12, Moses Malone, 26 and 14, Dennis Rodman, five and nine off the bench. And they play the Phoenix Suns. Uh, we got Cleveland as the number one seed. Mark Price, Sleepy Floyd, Bernard King, James Worthy, David Robinson. And they're playing the New York Knicks, who are the eight seed. Ralph Sampson, Akeem Olajuwon. Charlotte and New Jersey at four and five. Charlotte, the defending Eastern Conference champions. Uh, the Washington Bullets at three against Philly. And we got Miami versus Orlando. Miami, the two seed. So here we go. Round number one. The New Jersey Nets get eliminated by the defending Eastern Conference champions. The Spurs are gone. Portland's gone. New York's gone. Phoenix is gone. Philly, Dallas, Orlando are all eliminated so in the first round we got houston against the clippers shaq versus the team that passed up on him for jim jackson who is okay 
And, uh, yeah, so Shaq has a chance to get some revenge. Averaging 22-8 and eight so far in the playoffs. The Lakers will play the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves in a rematch from last year's Western Conference Finals. In the East, we got Cleveland versus Charlotte and Miami versus Washington. So here we go. Round number two. And the LA Lakers get eliminated for the second straight year to the Minnesota Timberwolves. The LA Clippers lose in a five to the MVP and the Houston Rockets. And the Washington Bullets get eliminated by the Miami Heat. And the Cavs lose to the defending Eastern Conference champions. So we still actually have a chance to get a repeat of what happened last year, uh, Minnesota and Charlotte. But look at this. Uh, three of these four have been in the league for just, what, six years? And then Houston came into the league in... When did Houston come in? Oh, I guess they've been for a while, 1971. It seems like they, they've been uh, more recent. But th all three of the expansion teams in 88 and 89 are in the conference finals. That is crazy. Um, three of the four, I should say. The Orlando Magic are not, but um, three of the four are. That's actually really impressive. So here we go. Game number one in the conference finals. The Charlotte Hornets win game one. Minnesota wins game one. Okay. Game number two, we have a tied series. Miami and Houston both tie it up. Game number three, Miami and Houston take a 2-1 lead. Game number four, we're all back tied up. Charlotte and Minnesota wins game number four. It's a 2-2 series in that both series. Game number five, Minnesota and Charlotte win game number five. So on to a game number six. The Miami Heat are eliminated. Charlotte gets to the NBA Finals for a second straight year. And Minnesota eliminates Houston to get to the NBA Finals for a second straight year. And here is... For the second straight year, the NBA Finals. Charlotte Hornets and Minnesota Timberwolves. Last year, Minnesota won in five. No close games at all last year. We didn't actually jump in. So here we go. We got Gary Payton, Doug Christie, Sean Elliott, Otis Thorpe, and Al Alton Lister for Charlotte. John Stockton, Steve Smith, Dominique, Terry Cummings, and Will Purdue for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So on to a game number one here in the SimCast. Minnesota off to... A good start here into the fourth quarter. They're up by 13. And they will take game number one, 105 to 97. And uh, now just three wins away from winning back-to-back -back NBA titles. Game number two into the second quarter. It's a close game. Into half. Minnesota had a massive second quarter. Uh, and they lead it 62 to 43 at the half into the fourth quarter now 91 to 71 and this is going to be a pretty easy win for minnesota they win at 116 to 103 Cummings with 25 10 and 8 24 and 8 and 14 for stockton payton with 29 and 10 and minnesota takes a 2-0 lead so now game three in charlotte into the fourth quarter charlotte has an eight point lead two minutes ago they have a 13 point lead that would Okay, there has been zero close games in, what, was that, eight straight games now in the NBA Finals between these two teams? As Charlotte wins game three, 119-105. Dominique with 27-15. and 15, Cummings with 27-12. and 12, Payton with 27-19. and 19, 25 for Elliott. 25-13-5 for Otis Thorpe. So, on to game number four once again in Charlotte. Char Charlotte trying to tie up the series here. Uh, into the fourth quarter, though, Minnesota leads 87 to 81. So, okay, we might have a close game here. Here we go. Uh, Minnesota up by six, still up by six, up by eight, up by 12. Uh, no, nope, Minnesota's just, they pull away. 128 to 110. Minnesota takes a 3 1 lead. Aguirre with 27, 5 and 4. Dominic with 26 and 10. Cummings with 24, 7 and 4. Stockton with 15 and 17. Gary Payton with 30 and 40. Poor Gary Payton, man. Dude is just carrying this team in the finals. And they just, they've just they won two games in nine tries. That's rough. That is rough. Uh, Minnesota takes a 3-1 lead. And now game number five in Minnesota. 
And at the half, Minnesota leads 55 to 50. Into the fourth quarter, Charlotte has taken a nine point lead. They had a four, wow, they won the third quarter by 14 points and now lead it by nine. So here we go into the fourth quarter, five point game with 446 to go. Two and a half minutes to go, it's a five point game, a minute and 14. Again, a five point game. Can Minnesota make this thing interesting to try and win it in five? Um, no, Minnesota uh, is now down by seven and that will do it. 117 to 110. Aguirre with 29, five and seven, Cummings with 25 and seven in the loss. Uh, Gary Payton with 18 and 16, 28 for Sean Elliott. And Charlotte trying to make things interesting in here. Uh, they win a game number five on the road. So now in Charlotte for game number six. And at the end of one, Minnesota with the 30 to 20 lead into the third quarter here. And Minnesota is now blowing out the Charlotte Hornets. That will do it. We're not going to even jump in. Minnesota is a back to back NBA champions. Wow. 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 This has been the video of the expansion teams. The Minnesota Timberwolves have won back to back championships. Dominic Wilkins is back-to-back -back finals MVP at 32 years old. Average 24, 12, and 3 per game. And that will do it. That's the video. Uh, the expansion teams dominated, dominated this video. That's kind of insane to me. I mean, the, the Heat did lose to the Lakers uh, in the first season of this video. Um, but Minnesota and, and, and Charlotte in back-to-back -back NBA Finals, and Minnesota winning relatively easily uh, in both series, winning in six in both of them. Both of them winning in six on the road, funny enough. So anyways, there you go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more content uh, down in the description, down below, uh, I do have a link to uh, my podcast I do with my friend Steven, uh, talking NBA, NFL NBA draft is tonight. I'm posting this on Thursday. It is tonight. We will actually be live streaming uh, our reactions to the NBA draft. So if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, that's going to be down in the description. Uh, I won't have a link to the exact live stream, but you can go to the channel, the YouTube channel uh, behind the glass. Again, linked in the description. Come hang out with us, watch the NBA draft, and uh, see what happens. My guess, at least on the first four, Cade Cunningham, uh, Green, Mobley, and Jalen Suggs. That's my four, but um, if you guys want to go ahead and join us, that is tonight. So come by, say hi, check it out, and uh, let me know you know, live how, how much you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know in the, you know, in, in the live chat and stuff like that will be. Kind of just hanging out with you guys and, um, you know, watching the NBA draft. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in 1994. Hey, the year I was born. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>